Hi, Randy Levante here from the Canadian eLearning Network at Blended, Alberta, uh, with a, just a little chat that we're going to have with Sean Lassart uh, and Itchen Wooster Slafferty and uh, Verena Roberts. Uh, Sean is at the University of Alberta. Etchen is now a full-time student. Full-time student at U of A. U of A. Woo! Yeah. All right. And Verena is at Rocky View as well as has been with Candy Learn. So we just want to talk a little bit about your uh, presentation, about some of the things that you're sharing. So for me, the core message that I got was about finding space. Can you talk a little bit more about space? Yeah. And I'm going to prompt you about if you can tell me how do you round the edges and how do you build connections in space if you are at a distance virtual through technology? In the physical space of school, round the edges, look to try to find, to, to disrupt actually in a good way and disrupt in a, in a respectful way some of that, some of that, um, some of those structures so we can begin to understand more about student experiences, student voice. So now when I'm thinking about that in an, in an online virtual world, I think that's possible too. I think in many ways you actually are disrupting the space just by being online because you're, 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 you're moving in a different direction than what the, the education system, the dominant narrative of education would be. So you're, you're in this different kind of space and I think even with that, that we just don't want to stay there in some kind of objective reality, but we want to move forward. We want to be nimble. We want to, like I talk about, meander. I think that we have to be creative. It's an opportunity to be creative by, by being, I, I believe, in an online, online education model and system. But I think it's, we have to still stay awake and stay, stay attention, right? It's not like we can just go online and that's all good. You know, how do you use uh, Twitter and online? Etc. You, you know, how do you put yourself out there? What were, you, what were your comments to Alec at the time? I said to Alec Kuros on my hiring committee, which was a brutal mistake. Um, <laughs> he asked me, "Can you develop a connection online?" And in my naivety, I said, "No," because at first, in my mind, I'm thinking that the only way, because I was, I was in that traditional system, to get there is this: is to get into that face-to-face. But the more I'm starting to understand um, the possibilities online, because he, he disrupted what I even thought to understand about that. He showed me pieces, to be example, or around Twitter. And now how Twitter, to me, is this, this dialogical space where it's like it's a literature review. I always call it a literature review for me. I, I love Twitter because it, it brings in all these different connections. It brings in all these different experiences, and, and it filters them for me in, in this good way. And it gives me small pieces to think with. But it also creates an online environment where that is sustaining me. That is sustaining me in the work that I'm doing. Sean tweets it at, at Nate Place. Yep. How much of that network is important to your work with students? You know? It's really important because uh, all my classes now, I've shifted in all my, all my university classes. It's our way to to uh, to connect in a safe way, in a respectful way, but also in a professional way. And it's a way for me to feed and to filter uh, some different ideas or some different resources on, on, on an ongoing basis, right? Um, I watched it come alive again at the University of Regina this past weekend. They had a treaty ed uh, camp. And that started off with uh, a lot of students, along with Alex, uh, supporting Katja Hildebrandt's um, support around technology. And it's just blown up. So it's actually a third space where we can actually talk about treaty education. And that has just gone out into the world and all these different, so people are reaching out in, in places that I didn't even know that existed. I was just gonna say that we were talking at lunch about my Cree experience. So when I was at the Grand Prairie Regional College, I took Cree through online and that was just simply because our instructor couldn't get to the college each week and that was what worked. And so I found it uh, very good and I, I still learned a lot. And it, yes, the, the relationship piece wasn't there, but that came over time, that came with time. And we still built that language component through there. So. The persistence and uh, the universality and ubiquity of being able to connect with people online is so important. And I learned from Verena how your whole personal learning network can be created around online spaces and places. And so maybe Verena, a couple of comments about how you find that and how you see in your work at Rocky View that you connect to students or how teachers can connect to students. I see this a lot in high schools, especially in Rocky View, where we are connected community partners within our own community. 
but I guess my world and my and I, I can be proven I guess today as well is taking that next step and integrating it in digital capacities and look focusing on this learner and their identity and giving them agency is I think moves forward in terms of um, supporting them in networked capacities. So what did you get from your experience in being here? Oh, you mean uh, we, we were talking so much when we were doing some planning and I was so intimidated when I first uh, got invited to be a part of like the you know I did the notion of blended learning or on, on online world and then the more I started reading about it and the more I started thinking about it and the more you I mean I just started to understand a little bit about it that I started seeing that we have there's a lot there's a, there's a lot of intersectionality there's a lot of like you know to, to me as someone that works with indigenous youth across Canada um, I mean I'm often found working on the margins and, and then I found out that there's this lovely group of people that are in a similar way metaphorically and physically are working on the margins, sometimes in isolation, sometimes on your own, trying to figure out ways to be nimble and, and to, to work within a system and to develop a new system and new ways forward to actually think about this. You know, those sometimes are lonely roads, you know, and I, I think I think what I thought that we we're so far away, well, we are, we are not so far away because there there are there are actually thematic pieces that tie us very closely together in the work that we're doing to sustain ourselves. Awesome. Hey, Jim, what was your takeaway? You can, I was thinking about how you can apply this to teachers, right, and just where we're at with technology now and, and we talked about today being the, in the meantime and, and that online space is sometimes that meantime for people. And so I'm really liking how there's so much out there now. There's the, the movie for uh, University of Alberta and I was... Uh, I did one through UBC that I thought was really great, and uh, that's what teachers need sometimes. And it's great to have that, uh, that other space. Awesome. Well, I thank you. I know we have you know, other meetings and, and things to do, so I really appreciate the opportunity. So, if people want to connect with you, how can they connect? At named place. Okay. Awesome. At E Lafferty. E Lafferty. Okay, and I'll get your handle and I'll put it up as part of the thing afterwards. And everybody knows how to find Verena. <laughs> no. At Verena. Did... At Verena MZ. Okay. Awesome. Thanks. Thanks, Thanks very much.